You know, when I was a scout, we had a junior leadership training weekend. Uh, well, actually, it was a whole week. It was a week of summer camp. Um, I guess they have something like that today, don't they? Hey, Scouter Stan, you know what? There is a program. It's called NYLT. That stands for the National Youth Leadership Training. And this program has been out for a while now. This is like the uh, youth wood badge. Think of it that way. They do a lot of really, really cool stuff. Now they do things like uh, they have an action-packed week at camp and they they basically run everything as a troop, just like in wood badge. They do a lot of things as a like troop one. So the troop that's out there for NYLT has patrols has all of the structure that they may be familiar with with a troop. Crews work about the same thing. So that's a wonderful thing about NYLT. It is a structure they are familiar with. Even though it's a structure they're, they're familiar with, uh, they need to learn of what they must be as a leader, what they must know as a leader, and what they must do as a leader. And a key point to that is they have to know how to be a leader. That's, that's a big thing with NYLT. This is something that is quite enlightening for America's youth. Now, like I said earlier, it's a six-day course, uh, typically at a summer camp, the, summer, the, the, the camp in your local area. We'll talk about candidates and all that stuff, but it is basically a troop at summer camp with challenges, and they make it fun. They put games in. There's a lot of instruction. There's... there's tons of really fun things that they're going to learn from. They will also utilize a lot of the more modern techniques of teaching skills. Um, this is critical to give them the skills and confidence so that they can lead. Now, as adult leaders, we have to find youth that are willing to give back service to the troop or crew. This is very important to consider when you're looking for candidates to go to NYLT. Of course, they need to be a registered member of scouting. That's critical. They cannot take the course unless they are registered with scouting with either a troop or crew. Very important. In that, they are also required to have a full medical form completed, whether it's A through A, B, and C that needs to be done. You need to have the whole thing ready to go when they're going off to NYLT. The Scouts BSA and crew member must be at least 13. This is critical, 13 years of age, to attend NYLT, at least. It is important that the Scout that's going off to NYLT has gone through the introduction to leadership skills for the troop or crew. Very important that the true and crew have done that. That's very important. The scout should also have all of the scout skills to be an active member of their patrol while at NYLT. Therefore, they must have the rank of first class. Now, scout leaders, please send mature for their age, uh, well-behaved scouts to NYLT so that they do not disrupt the learning environment that is created there. This is not the place to send trouble cases, okay? It's not like they're going to get straightened out or something. That's not what we do at scouting, okay? That's that's something that you have to handle on an individual basis and consider their maturity level and how they're going to behave. You also need to be considering scouts that are going to actually give service back to your unit. This is an investment in your unit. Them going through that training of NYLT and bringing it back, all those skills that they learned, and putting it into practice within your unit. Now, this is a week at camp. They need at least a week outside of NYLT. They need to have gone to summer camp in the past so that they're used to being away from home. The last thing we need at NYLT is homesickness, okay? I'll put a video up there about homesickness. Uh, that's that's one of the things we don't need at NYLT. They have to be, have the scouting skills and the experience 
of summer camp. And finally, they need a letter of recommendation. That is that is important to have uh, so that when you're putting your reputation online for that youth, and that youth knows it, they see it, they read it, they know. So definitely put out that letter of recommendation for the scouts you think will do best at NYLT. Now, NYLT is always going through new stuff. Check with your council. There's a lot of really cool flyers and stuff. You can get the scouts excited about it. You know, as an adult leader, we can do that. We get them all excited about going and maybe even help them along that way. A lot of troops actually put funds aside to send youth leaders to NYLT. There's also a lot of opportunities for tuitions to go to NYLT. NYLT is a lot of fun and the scouts that come out of that are better. They will be more functional youth for your unit, whether it be a troop or crew. You can get some really good youth leadership out of NYLT. And I know that's what you want, right? That's why you're here. <laughs> you're, you're part of our channel. And I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn a little bit more about NYLT. Get involved, ask questions, get out there. And I know you will. But until next time, I'll see you on the trail.